Can you offer an opinion to a reasonable degree of medical certainty as to whether or not mask wearing affects children and adults differently or the same? I can offer an opinion. Director, what is that opinion? I see no reason why they'd be different in adults than children. Director, what information do you use to formulate that opinion? Well, I based it on a lot of the information I got from the CDC science brief, but also the studies that they referenced, in particular in the adverse health effects. I actually went into the science brief, and there's a section titled Adverse Health Effects, and so I actually read every study that they referenced. I don't usually read every study in a review article, but I did in this one because I wanted to see where they were drawing the conclusions from. So it's actually references 57 through 63. And they look at these studies, they look at different groups of people. They look at children, they look at people with lung disease, look at people who normally would have healthy lungs, healthcare workers, and they look at people who are exercising, and they didn't see a change in anyone. So I think their conclusion has merit, and I found it persuasive. Doctor, just to clarify, for the record, you have referenced 57 to 63 in the section titled Adverse Health Effects of Mask Wearing. Is that from Exhibit B? Yes. Thank you, Doctor. Doctor, based upon your training, education, and experience, and your role as a public health official, can you offer an opinion to a degree of medical certainty as to whether or not the observational studies that have been done with adults concerning masking would have a different effect with children and masking? I have no opinion. Doctor, what is that opinion? I don't think there would be a difference. Doctor, why do you say that there wouldn't be a difference? And when you look at all the studies in particular, they looked at children and adults, and they're different authors with the same question. So when you look at eight different studies looking at different populations, and they all find independently that there aren't adverse effects, I find that persuasive. 